Hello there, Dominic here. A word about the Axis Rotate tool and the Twist tool. Uh, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to create a cylinder. So click this icon and I'm going to control click and drag in the viewport to make a uniform sized cylinder. I'm going to center it on all axes. Going to make it somewhat longer on the Y. Right now there are 10 sides and 16 segments. Going to drop the tool by pressing spacebar. Now going to center selected all. Now the geometry is selected around the origin. I'm going to show you the axis rotate tool. You'll find it over here, more transforms, click and choose axis rotate. Now right now my work plane is invisible but I can say here that it's my work plane is on the Y X plane so when I click in the viewport I get my axis rotate. Right now it's set to advanced handles. I'm going to uncheck that and now when I click and drag the blue circle I can rotate my geometry on the z-axis. I can do this by first making a selection and for instance select close loop, select my axis rotate tool and it's going to rotate around the z-axis and when I change my view it's going to rotate around this axis. I'm going to stop for a moment. Okay, I'm back. I've reset everything with Ctrl Z. So the axis rotate tool rotates a selection by a specific number of degrees. It's limited to editing on a single axis, as you've seen. So you have to rotate and uh, watch the work plane in order to see on which axis you will rotate. You can find it in the Edit menu, Transform Axis Rotate, or the shortcut key Alt Shift E. In the menu, I'll read something about Child Compensate, but apparently. There's something weird going on there with the manual. Don't think it's actually because it it isn't actually there in item mode. So when I select it in item mode, uh, do more transform axis rotate. There's nothing about child compensate here. So something I will have to look into. Now what I wanted to also show you in combination with the axis rotate tool is the twist tool. The twist tool is a tool you'll find on the deform tab and the twist tool is the axis rotate tool so it's actually a preset it's the axis rotate tool with a linear fall off so when I click in the viewport and I'm on the Y explain right now you'll see the axis rotate tool with a linear fall off now the cool thing about this is for instance when I set the action axis auto the axis to Y then I can drag and it twists the geometry and over here I can set a specific number so for instance if I want two re uh, revolves I can set this for instance to 720 degrees and now I have twisted this geometry twice and the cool thing about this is for instance I can select all edges like this, go to edge and extrude them. Now when I extrude and click I get a blue and a red handle. The blue will extrude the geometry and the red one will do the width. I'm going to, uh, I've dropped the tool. I'm going to toggle off so like this it's easy, very easy to create for instance uh, a screw. I'm going to undo a few times, do the extrude again and do a bit further. So ma we'll make it more easy to see. Okay, grab the tool. So 
with this way, with uh, a cylinder with different size geometry and with the twist tool you will easily will be able to create screws and things like that. Of course you have to edit the top and, and the bottom and right now the number of uh, edges is far too big but just wanted to show you the twist tool on the deform tab it's the axis rotate tool combined with, uh, combined with a linear falloff and very easy to create a number of objects in modo. Th hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and bye!